Today I'd like to share a book that I wrote and illustrated, Imagination Vacation Yellowstone. Written and illustrated by Anastasia Kirst. That's me. Dad? Yes, Emmeline, Dad replied. I think Grand Prismatic is... A rainbow that curled up for a nap. When it bubbles, the colors escape and color the world. What do you think? Emmeline asked. Well, Dad began, I think that Grand Prismatic is a hot spring, a pool of water that has trickled so deep into the earth that it was superheated by magma and... What's magma? Emmeline interrupted. Well, Dad began, Geologists like me believe that the earth is made up of layers, like a cake. The layer we live on, the crust, is made up of hard, cold rock. But the next layer down, the upper mantle, is made out of very hot, melty rock called magma. The magma heats up the water and it goes back up to the surface like a pot boiling over. The colors in Grand Prismatic are mostly caused by algae and bacteria that grow in the spring, Dad explained. Really? Emmeline asked, raising her eyebrows a bit. And that's hot spring bacteria. So this is a cutaway view of the earth. Here's the hot spring with trees and people on the surface. And that's everything that you can't see underneath the earth. Daddy, what are you imagining, Emmeline? I think that Yellowstone Lake is an enormous osprey nest. The mama osprey landed in the park and squished down all the mountains to build the nest. What do you... Uh, then it rained, and the nest filled with water. What do you think? Well, Dad began, volcanologists think that Yellowstone Lake is part of a huge collapsed caldera called, caused by a hot spot. A what what Caused by a what? Emmeline was confused. Well... A hot spot is just what it sounds like. It's a spot on the earth where magma, this is the magma, keeps rising. When the magma stays underground, it causes things like hot springs that we saw earlier. But when the magma comes out of the ground, it creates volcanoes like the one we're standing on. What? We're standing on a volcano? Get me out of here, Emmeline shrieked. Actually, Dad said, we're standing on the edge of an empty volcano that has collapsed into a bowl shape called a caldera. Like a cauldron, a witch's pot. Dad, you have a wild imagination. Dad? Yes, Emmeline? I think Castle Geyser is... A castle built by fairies for the fairy princess to live in, Emmeline imagined. What do you think? I can see the resemblance, Dad answered, but I don't know if a fairy princess would want to live there. The geyser shoots out lots and lots of hot water and steam. Don't you think it would be too noisy and way too wet for fairies? They might get droopy wings. I think this castle was built by a geyser. Dad said. Who built it? Emmeline asked. A geyser is kind of like a hot spring, Dad explained, but the water has to pass through a tight spot. Underground, the water is heated by magma, is stuck under a layer of cold water, and finally the hot water builds up until finally it erupts, like that. It's so beautiful, Emmeline gushed. But how did it build the castle? Well, Dad replied, the water carries chemicals, and the water splashes out of the 
As the water splashes out of the geyser, some of the chemicals are left behind, creating a rock called geyserite. Every time Castle Geyser erupts, the geyserite castle grows just a little bit more. If you say so, Emmeline said skeptically. Daddy? What is it, Emmeline? I think I know why that rock looks like a tree. It was a beautiful green tree until... A raven came and sat in it and sang, and he was such a terrible singer that the tree turned to stone so he wouldn't have to listen. What do you think? Emmeline said. I think the trees were buried by ash during a volcanic eruption. Minerals dissolved in water moved through the volcanic ash, gradually making new soil. Some of the minerals were absorbed into the buried trees and replaced the wood petrifying the trees. There's petrified trees and rock layers. Over time, Dad continued, a new forest grew over the old buried forest. The whole process has been repeated many times here in Yellowstone. Yeah, right, Emmeline said, rolling her eyes. Dad? Yes, Emmeline? I think I know what made this canyon. I think there was this really big buffalo, and a cloud of mosquitoes wouldn't leave him alone, and he got so angry he snorted and stumped stomped and scratched this canyon into the ground with his hoof. What do you think? Yeah, Dad agreed. Mosquitoes can sure be annoying, but the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone is about 900 feet deep and about half a mile wide, way too big for any bison to have made, no matter how angry he was. Dad went on. I think your answer is right down there in the bottom of the canyon. But there's just a river down there, Emmeline argued. That's right, Dad said. It was mostly the river that made the canyon. The V-shape of the canyon is a hint that erosion most likely created it. Erosion is the breaking up of rocks and dirt by wind. Here's the wind. Water. And ice. It probably took less than 600,000 years to create it. Bit by bit, grain by grain, the river carried away the rock and dirt. And today, you can see how beautiful the earth is on the inside, too. Hmm, said Emmeline. Daddy? Yes, Emmeline. I think Yellowstone is the most magical and amazing and beautiful place in the world. What do you think? I think you're absolutely right. And here are some science words from the story. And then in the back, there are some special pages for teachers. This is a fun one. Where do you see these textures in the story? I created this one using salt in the paint before it dried. This texture from the story was created with a plastic bag. I put it into the wet paint and let it dry there. Where did you see this texture? That was broken spaghetti dropped into wet paint. And here's a couple more. These are dots of rubbing alcohol in the wet paint. It's fun to spot where these are. This one was torn pieces of paper. And this last one was brown powdered writ fabric dye that I dropped into some wet um, paint to create those really cool bursts of color. So I hope you have enjoyed my book and you can look for more on Amazon. Just search Anastasia Kirst.